We now know the identity of the little girl whose body was found buried under a San Francisco home last summer. And today, we talk to the relative of that girl. KPIX 5 reporter Emily Turner is live in San Francisco's Rossi Park to connect San Francisco's past with its present. Emily? Exactly. That's exactly what this does. This is the neighborhood where she was found more than 100 years ago. This was a cemetery, but the city picked up the cemetery, the people who were buried there, and they moved them, except for one little girl who was found more than 100 years later, and now we know who she is. It is a mystery that spanned 120 years and took 11 months to solve. But now we know who the little girl is whose casket was found buried under the garage of a home under renovation. She is three year old Edith Rose Cook, a great great aunt of Pete Cook. I was jumping for joy because it would give me more information to find out my family. Edith's coffin was found in May of last year. It's believed she was left behind when the Odd Fellows Cemetery where she was buried was relocated to Colma, and no one knew. So when she was discovered more than a century later, Garden of Innocence, who buries unnamed children, took on her case. When they placed her in here, they, she's in a beautiful white hand, hand sewn gown, hand embroidered lace, and she's beautiful. Somebody took a lot of care and love in putting her there. And she deserves to be reunited with her family with her name. So they got together a team, including a biomolecular engineer, to try and find her name and any living family. A genealogist took the names in the old cemetery and traced down living relatives, getting a DNA sample to compare. From that 10% of the sample, we um, were able to compare this to um, a candidate relative that was identified by the rest of the team, the genealogists on the team. And it turns out that the two are close relatives. They are um, about 12.5% identical. Pete Cook was a match, giving Edith back her name and Peter all sorts of information he never knew about his family tree. It's a missing puzzle piece that brings this family full circle. A name is a human dignity everybody deserves. Just to have the process complete and give Miranda her name and let her go home is uh, it's just a whole... We have formed Team Miranda, and the whole team is just so excited. To me, it's meant a lot to all of my life. It will be something that I can pass on to my children. Coming up in June, this little girl will have a memorial service with her name, Edith, and her very own headstone with that name on it. Reporting live in San Francisco, Emily Turner, KPIX 5.